11 of the 1971 Mustang Fastback Restoration Project. Part 1 of 2. Hosting support brought to you by coeserve.com. If we were doing the quarter mile, we'd be doing it in six seconds. All right, guys. Today is a momentous day in the 71 Mustang Project. We are picking her up. But first, we're going to go with the engine. So we're going to go pick up a 73 Grand Torino. And this is the new truck we got to start to pick up cars. And we also bought this trailer. So Mustang Medic is mobile. Just ignore this logo. We're going to put a Ford logo on it well, before we graphic, put graphics all over with Mustang Medic. But if all goes as planned, this is our permanent truck to use. This is, this is a keeper. Got a trailer. Got to change out the tire today. And we are going to go pick up the 73 and then pick up the 71. Come on for a ride with us. Here we go. Away we go, and it's a fun day for us with the trailer because we actually know what we're picking up. Because when we know what we're getting, it's fun. You don't feel like you're wasting a trip. We're doing more recon. We're actually looking at purchasing a, uh, a motorcycle, and <laughs> Ricky and I are going to be riding on a motorcycle to go see cars to save gas, and rather than doing these huge car trips to just go see a car and then come back with the truck. So we're starting to get leaner and meaner. And of course, 71's active, 69 sold, and we are in the process of looking for the next project car. This ongoing saga continues. But 71's making progress. That's what we're happy about right now, at the moment. If you appreciate our efforts to educate, please send a donation to the cause via PayPal. Our PayPal email address is paypal at autobodyman.com. We want to thank a number of you who have already donated. We're very grateful. So this is the kind of stuff you got to deal with when you're going to go pick up cars with a trailer. Need I say any more? New tire. So we finally got there and the battery uh, wasn't working and then eventually we got it running. And then after about an hour's worth of work and a different battery we were able to get her to kick over and drive her to the ramp. I kind of feel like I disturbed a natural habitat with this car because you wouldn't believe it, a rabbit jumped out of the engine, um, at least on the other car that was next to it. They put so much, they've been carrying so much little bark and stuff into this. In a week, while we were waiting for it, we had to actually clear it all off again. But look, she's on the trailer, and she drove up on the trailer. Sorry there's no video on that, because I'm not going to blame Ricky. I'm not going to blame Ricky. You're not going to take the hit, Rick, don't worry. But we don't have video on the engine going up. But you will see it run when we get it home. So, uh, got the car. Got to get her back and go pick up the 71. We got, we got a 351 Cleveland running transmission. Drove straight up the, up the ramp. It's amazing. So thank you, Marcus. No problem. Good man. I just want to see the finished product. He wants to see the finished product. We got another Mustang Medic fan. <laughs> yeah. All right. We're out of here. Ricky's got a big, uh, big engine now, so he's yes. happy. Oh, guest appearance by Sarah. Got an hour and 15 minute drive back, heading home. The celebratory cigar for loading a car up. Shoot, wait, Rick, show the back. We're loaded and we're rolling. Hello, I'm Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't she cute? Guys, pray for me. I'm gonna need a shotgun when she gets you, you know what I mean? All right, let's go. All right, so we're home in the Torino, dropping her off. Dropping me off? Dropping you off, too. Why? 
Here we go. We are now driving to go pick up the 71. You're with us for the entire day. Here we are, picking up the Mustang. We're going to roll her back and put her on the, uh, on the trailer. Fenders and everything are off, which makes it even lighter. So we're just going to put the fenders and the hood in the uh, back of the truck. And we're rolling her on. Frame's done. We know this thing is perfectly straight. Specked out, mic'd out. We are good to go. All right, let's do this wreck. Dun, 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 dun. There's Willie. Guest appearance by William. Happiness is. Okay, hang on. All right, guys, she's loaded up and she's going home as promised. We got uh, there's a guest appearance from Will again. Thank you, Will. So we're leaving the fenders and the hood off, obviously, because we're going to be sandblasting and painting. And rims have been delivered, waiting on the tires still. But we are good to go, and we are out of here. The 71 is finally coming home after the Arizona trip. Frame is done. Back part's done, as you know, if you watch the rest of this video series. So we're pretty excited about it. Thanks for all your interest in the 71. It keeps us motivated. Appreciate the uh, positive words. Guys, if you remember the video for day one, if you haven't seen day one of the 71 series, go back and refer to it because you can look and see the car bent in the back. Now look back and you'll see a nice straight framed Mustang that's night and day compared to the first day that we had it. So what are we, 10 days into this? 11 days? I don't know what day it is. You, you know because it's the beginning of the video. But it's nice to be pulling a straight framed 71 Fastback back home to work on her, knowing it's straight. Please tell your Mustang enthusiast friends to subscribe to our channel and follow our progress. We promise to make it as informative and entertaining as possible. Look for a link in the description for the next in our series. If it's not there, come back soon. MustangMedic.com